Englishmen and other effeminate sexual deviants took to the streets of London last week to protest Donald Trump because something, something, something. The protesters included men dressed up as women, men who may actually have been women, women exposing parts of their bodies that well brought up young ladies usually keep covered, and women with dyed hair and tattoos that sent the message, I am psychologically dysfunctional, please help me. To protest the fact that Trump Something, something, these sad and irrelevant people staged such dramatic displays as throwing girly, ineffectual punches at a half-naked Donald Trump punching bag and then swaggering away as if they had accomplished something. They also displayed what the media called a baby Trump blimp, but which turned out just to be a smallish balloon, though the protesters needed a permit for it anyway because they live in a country where you need a permit to carry a balloon. Asked why the protesters were protesting, one person told reporters, quote, since our country no longer has any pride or principles, we have nothing to do but sit around waiting to be enslaved by Sharia law. So we figured we'd protest the American president to pass the time until we cease to exist as a meaningful political entity, unquote. The protest ended abruptly when it was announced that America had broken ties with England nearly 250 years ago, thus leaving England in a relevant backwater with no say in who governs real countries like ours. Meanwhile, across the channel on the continent formerly known as Europe, France won the World Cup by defeating Croatia, which is like a country or something. In response to their victory, the French promptly rioted to protest the fact that they just wasted weeks of their lives watching soccer. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show. Hooray, hooray. Oh, hooray, hooray. 